Now to a story of darkness, the knife, and an old practice. We are talking about male circumcision, and in one corner of Kenya, it is being practiced under the cover of darkness. Katians Ferdumulo travels to Tesla land where tight work schedules and culture are giving a whole new meaning to the knife. He that bestrides Busia in Kenya and eastern Uganda, circumcision does not feature during initiation. As a result, anti-HIV activists have been trying to promote the process among sexually active males here with hopes of cutting down infection rates. But one of the obstacles they have to face is the social price that those who undergo the medical procedure have to pay. We realize that uh, <clears throat> most men above 25 years old are not coming in for circumcision. Most of the clans we're seeing are between uh, 15 and 24, around there. But uh, these people above 25 year olds, so ma very few of them, about 20%. Many uncircumcised Teso men find the task of facing the knife during the day onerous and prefer to do it at night. Some have very busy schedules, while others would simply lose their standing in society. <laughs> The procedure that lasts less than an hour and takes about one month to heal from has come under fire after a Kenya AIDS indicator survey showed that it does not reduce HIV infection rates. So we are looking at strategies that can make most of this older population come in for circumcision and uh, moonlight is one of the strategies that we've implemented so in teso north and teso south today uh, we are carrying out this program for now ngos continue to push their campaigns forward with hopes that cultural strictures on this side of the country will not neutralize their work for katie and i am fredo mulo